Hello Wolfpack and welcome to the most beautiful game in virtual reality. Welcome to Kayak VR. Now come along Mr. Flamingo, we're about to go on an adventure. Now I said get on the boat. Now that is perfect, I like my hood ornament. Now we did play this game a long time ago in a three random video, but since then there has been a significant number of changes. Most importantly, they've added a bunch of new levels. We did King's Canyon in Australia before, but there are three new levels in beautiful locations that are not this swimming pool. And I'm really excited to see them because the environments of this game are what makes it so special. We have Costa Rica, Antarctica, and Norway, and I'm really excited to show these to you. So we're gonna start in Costa Rica, we're gonna do a race, now there are different tracks in each one. We should start with Welcome to the Jungle. We got fun and games. Oh, look at the environment. Now I know that we're in a race, but I am not going to be in any sort of hurry. I am here to enjoy the environments while also, you know, being guided in a particular path. There are birds flying ahead. Look at the trees. Is this a video game or is this real life? Is this real life? Now there is a free roam mode in this game as well. So you can just go to each of the environments and kayak around, enjoying yourself without the pressures of time. But I do like having the guides. I like having the intense music and it's almost like a guided tour. Oh, I just want to see like George of the Jungle or a a giant gorilla swing on through. It's a tight little river here, so I have to be really accurate with my kayak, which unfortunately, I am definitely not. Oh, stunning, I really hope. There's not a leopard out there waiting to bite my face off. Now I will say the environment is a bit blurry. Uh, there's kind of a, an anti-aliasing effect over everything. Nothing is particularly clear outside of my kayak and the water. Oh! Toucan Sam! Just follow your nose! Give me things to look at and distract me from the race. Give me monkeys, give me toucans, give me giant sharks underneath the water. I have no idea if there are sharks in Costa Rica, but there should be. The waters off the Pacific coast of Costa Rica are home to many species of shark. Now I will say this game is quite the workout on the arms. You uh, you really have to be stroking. The, the kayaking, the mechanics of it are actually really impressive. Everything feels like it should if you were actually paddling a kayak. Your controller is the bar. And uh, let me just uh, make a tight turn here. There we go. And swing back around. I just... I could just stare at this all day long. Absolutely beautiful. That is a phrase you're gonna hear from me the entire game is absolutely beautiful. What is that? There's something, excuse me, pole. I have to go see what's over here in the water. It looks completely out of the, that's a turtle. That's like a little tiny turtle. Hey, I'm lost. Can you bring me to the open water? Um, yes, I just have to, Oh, this is gonna be like a, it's like a quest. You wanna go on a quest? Oh, it must be Thursday. If I could just get him up on the kayak. Come on, Mr. Turtle, get on there. Oh God, I flipped him upside down. He's doomed. Seems like our best bet might just be to uh, ram and slap him along as we go. Okay, I will be back. I'm just gonna go run through this pole, okay? I got you, buddy. I got you. Just don't drive me into the rocks here, okay? Yeah. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Get on top of the kayak. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's perfect. No, no, don't fall, don't fall. We can go together, we can go. There, there we go, yes. This is not working, it's kind of working. Just stay with me, just stay with me. We're almost to the open water, Mr. Turtle. We're gonna get you to your family, I promise. Now I did not expect something like this. This is a cool little feature. Just a fun little thing to do in the middle of a race. Obviously my time is horrific, but I am enjoying this. I've got a new friend. I've got someone to take care of. And really any game with quests is gonna be my new favorite game. Oh, that was a good one. 
I like smacking this turtle. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. We're out of the jungle. We just have to get him to the ocean. I got you, buddy. I got you. Should I should I skip the, the thing and just take him to the ocean? I'm really not sure if I should make him come through with me or if I should just get him to the ocean. We're going, we're going straight through. Come on, buddy. I'm not going to leave you behind. Don't get stuck on the sand. There you go. Get out there. Get into the open water. You're welcome. I love you, Mr. Turtle. You have a great adventure out there in the very terrifying open waters. I'm going to go finish my race with probably the best time this race has ever seen of nearly eight minutes. So good. Mr. Turtle! I think we're going to go see some coral. Oh, Costa Rica. You beautiful, beautiful location. There's something. You guys see that yellow thing over there? Oh, it's uh, I think it's a pole. So I think that's like the end of the course. So I really messed up here. Let's restart. Here we go. Now we're going to do this for a little bit more uh, speed than we were doing in the last one. What is that in the water? Is that a stingray? No, that's just that is a stingray. Oh, that is so cool. See, now that that is what I'm looking for. A variety of different animals and giant trees and different locations. And there's coral beneath us. It's actually going to be pretty rare in the near future to see any coral. It's all dying. Got a pretty good speed here going. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Obviously, I'm not as good as any sort of professional kayaker. But for a guy who's really only kayaked twice in his life, this is not too shabby. <sighs> that, uh, that felt really good. I didn't even get the bronze medal. Three seconds away. Ah, oh, I have to try again. Ugh. Yeah. I am ready. Go, go, go. Keep a nice straight trajectory here. Don't get distracted by the stingray. We can do it. We can do it. We just have to beat a minute and 30 seconds. How the hell do you get gold? I really feel like I did not do a lot of screwing up throughout this race, but doesn't matter. Personal best. I'm so proud of me, and I hit a pole. Hell yeah. The sun here in Costa Rica was quite murderous. I am very, very sweaty. So let's go cool off by going to Antarctica. Uh, let it go. Oh, that's a fun little thing. Let it go. Now, I don't know if this is the entire course. It is a very long one, and maybe it combines all the other different ones. So might as well try it. Oh my god, it's a penguin. He's just standing there to cheer me on. Thanks, little buddy. I really appreciate it. Look at these glaciers. Just the quality of the texture and the lighting is is awesome. All right, we are in Antarctica. Are there birds in Antarctica? I always kind of figured it was just polar bears and penguins. Maybe a weird walrus or sea lion every now and then. I like that there's little ice blocks that are actually, you know, in your way and they will throw off your kayak so you'll want to avoid them. Hey, Mr. Bird. Thanks for hanging out with me. Now, there might be a whole bunch of penguins up there on that rock, and I really hope they are because I just love penguins. <coughs> hey, you be very careful up there, okay? Don't want you falling into this icy water where there are whales waiting for a nice little penguin snack. Ugh, look at him, they're just like talking up there. Ugh, I love it. Look at this cave. The color palettes, you can see wind blowing probably through a hole. It's like the northern lights in here. Yeah, that is a nice little effect. Oh, this is neat. Very dark, very cool. It's telling me to go to the left. I feel like I'm in a whale's mouth. Like that's the uvula, and then I'm gonna get swallowed. Is this Pinocchio? I wonder what's down there. Now remember, there are free roam modes where you can go explore whatever the hell you want and just take any path without uh, actually being a part of a race here. Ooh, little avalanche happening over there. Don't hit the wall. I'm okay. I'm okay. We're good. Look at this. The sun's coming up. The ice is kind of beginning to melt. You can see little drips appearing in the water around us. 
that's a nice little effect. There's like a bird up there. Now I will say what this game needs is even more wildlife. Like I like seeing the penguins and the occasional fish, but if there was a whale just cresting and then, you know, it's blowholes just going boosh, that, that would be something to experience. Now, something that the climb did really, really well was using their environment to tell a story. So you started at the bottom of a beach and, you know, you climbed this mountain and there was a crowd cheering you on far below. And then at the end, you saw these giant hot air balloons just float into the sky. And there were also threats in the environment. You could get stung by a snake and that would ruin your race. So if there were like sharks or objects that you could hit that could explode your kayak, I think that'd be a fun little twist. Hey guys, I'm back. Just did a big circle. How you doing today? You gonna you gonna do anything fun? You gonna jump off? Do a little diving? Nah, you're just gonna you're just gonna stand up there making fun of me. That's fine. Oh, but you're so cute. Oh, my arms are getting very very tired. This is extraordinarily beautiful. Just the scenery and everything around it. It's just oh, come on. How could you not love it? Though I do wish there was a little. Oh, you fell down. You okay, buddy? Ah, uh, yes, I found Willy. What the hell does that mean? Is there a whale? Hello? Willy? Is there is there an orca whale somewhere around here? Because that's the only thing I can think of with find Willy. Oh my god, I saw it. I see it out there. Willy! This is what I'm talking about, Kayak VR. Give me some whales. Come on, make him jump again. That can't be the only time you're going to show it. I barely caught it out of the corner of my eye. That's not fair. I can fly, I can fly. They tease you with a cool orca jumping out of the water and then they're like, gone. Sorry, one time only. Ooh, better get a little bit low here. Nice. How the hell am I supposed to... Eh. Oh God, my back, my back, I did it. I'm incredible. This is a really really long race. It is showing me everything there is to see about Antarctica. The hell is that? Is that like a windsock? It is a camp. There's a little expedition out here in Antarctica. Wonder what they're doing. Probably taking pictures of penguins and killer whales. I, I saw one for like half a second, guys. This is a little bit creepy. All of these icebergs are just so fragile if they could collapse at any second there were ice falling give me an avalanche oh man we did it we made it to the end oh that was that was really long but really really cool Welcome to Norway. Now look at that, there's a lighthouse. Now this is cool and everything, but Norway offers something a little bit different. You can choose very stormy weather. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that rain pelting the water. It is stunning, and then you have the lighthouse lightning in the background. There are waves, and you feel the waves in the kayak. Oh, this might be a, a real VR motion sickness simulator, but I don't care. I love it. Let's go around this island and check out that lighthouse. Oh, it's so choppy. The water is so choppy, we could be run aground at any moment. We truly are in the perfect storm. And it's actually tough with the waves because when they sink, you actually, you can't hit the water with your paddle. So you're kind of swinging and missing. And I love the lightning effects in the distance. I should not be kayaking right now. Hey, lighthouse. Thank you. Thank you for saving all the ships. Sorry that I chose to do my kayaking at this exact moment. But when you plan your vacation, oh, that's a rock. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. Oh, ugh. I feel endangered. We're almost there. We're almost done. I just love how that looks with the lightning lighting up the environment around us. We have a giant mountain in the background. 
This is some cool stuff they can do with the weather and changing up the environments. Oh, I took a 0.31 seconds off. I <sighs> just had to study the lightning for a while. All right, there is one more race that I want to try, and it is the coastline. So we should, mm, should we do another storm or should we just do it in the middle of the night? Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. Look at that sky. This is, I like it. Night is actually very dark. Rider on the storm. Probably because I did a stormy one and that was, that was quite the adventure. I was just there and it was so stormy, but now it's a clear, calm night. There are birds just perched on the rocks watching me go by as I'm sure I'm a very entertaining racer. I like Norway. Now I assume Norway is just one lighthouse. That is the only thing that this country offers. So, you know, props to them for keeping all... Why do they have so much trash in their gosh darn ocean too? There's like gas bins and all sorts of stuff just... Maybe it's from shipwrecks. Yeah. And that's why they had to install the uh, the lighthouse to stop all of this pollution from happening. Seriously though, Norway, what the hell is wrong with you? It's just a whole bunch of trash in the ocean. Though I will say that looks incredible in the middle of the night. Be neat if you could see some ships off to the shore. Maybe the Titanic was coming around and sinking. That wasn't anywhere near Norway or you know land in general but be neat to see something in the distance. And there's the lighthouse shining upon my kayak. That's a neat effect. Get you birdies. All right, Wolfpack, this was Kayak VR. This is entering early access today, so you can pick it up if you want a really, really good kayaking adventure. There are a ton of ways to customize your control, make it more realistic, make it more arcadey, and then yeah, you can just travel these environments and check them out for yourself. Enjoy them or race and try to beat your time. You can see ghosts of other players as you go and, you know, try to beat their times. And it's a real whole shindig. That was fun. I like Norway. But most of all, what this game offers is the most beautiful visuals of any game I've really played in virtual reality. And I can't wait for you to see them as well. Till next time, Wolfpack. <laughs>